little shitty. You need to pull a right double cross. You know what I'm saying? You follow me, Lenny? Come on. Look, when I was an actor on a TV series. God, not now, Skip. No, you know what? I've, I've never told this story to anybody. Okay? But. I'm serious. I did it. There was this creepy guy and he would just show up wherever I go, clubs, parties. Gamers. Are you done? Thank you. So, so I explained this guy. I'm telling you, Lenny, it was weird. It was fucking weird. He had these thick glasses and greasy hair and no gut, but an extremely fat ass. I mean, we're talking it was like this big. It was like an elephant's ass. So... I says to the guy, hey pal, it's just a TV show. And then he just stares at me like some kind of crazy person. And then, oh my God, like this scene flashed in my mind where he's got me in a house in Reseda and and I'm chained to a bed and he's reading Peyton Place to me. Yeah, I know, it fucking freaked me out. So then, so then I call the police. But, you know, they never call the guy. That's when I heard about Captain Gordo. So Captain Gordo was this some kind of military doctor who, who worked in uh, no, 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 I swear, I swear. Captain Gordo was some kind of doctor who worked in experimental drug testing for the government. He developed chemicals for using mind control, expansion, implosion, you name it, whatever. Okay, so listen this. He went underground to develop chemicals to help people, like 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 the scrambler serum. Okay, anyway, so I go. And I, 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 I invite the stalker to meet me at the bar, and I put a cap full of this shit in his drink, and oh my god, like, instantly, this fuck had no idea what he was doing there. Crazy. Well, then what happened? Well, I, I, uh, thank you for stopping by. 